Well, hello everybody. It's been a little while since I've done a recording. Uh, I hope you guys took advantage of that Top Step, Top X platform that I put out uh, for 19 a month for the life of the combine, including your resets. Uh, and I believe they have extended it. I read yesterday that they have extended that deal all the way to the 20th of this month. So I'm going to have to change the thumbnail. I wish they'd make up their minds sometimes, go through all that work, put dates on, and then they go change it. But it's been extended to the 20th. You can use my affiliate link below to get the Top X deal for uh, Top Step X platform combines for $19 a month plus $19 resets. But anyhow, I want to talk about today. Today's been a great day, over $1,400 trading just micros. Let me show you what I did. Bring this up here. Alright, this here is an account that I was playing with. Threw on five contracts at the wrong time just to see what to do. But anyhow, that's not an account I'm even dealing with. This here, I locked myself out. This was off the, this morning's print. I had put a trade on last night. Let's go here to the 30 minute here. I had put a trade on last night here on this uh, at the opening. At open, and you see this gap line. This is where it closed the prior night. At open, and I targeted the expected move. Uh, this is a, a NQ options uh, weekly expected move, which you can get anywhere that that show that you can trade NQ options at. So I was trading the top of the uh, targeting the top of the weekly expected move. As you can see, that newsprint just busted right through it. So that's on this account I got back in. Or excuse me, that's on this account. This is the only one I held the trade for the entire plan, which was from here to here. <laughs> that spot right there. Uh, or the, and just if you want to know how to calculate the expected move, you can go on, on Friday at close. Like Thinkorswim will post the following week's updates it will have you look out a week you find that expected move price whatever the close is it can move that amount plus or minus from the close price i have an indicator that will calculate that for me on thinkorswim but that's how you would do it if it's if it's a 200 dollars expected move then you just figure the middle the opening or the closing price on friday add 200 subtract 200 you have your top and bottom you see here i put I put the middle, I put the top, and I put the bottom. I do this every week on every chart so I can have some kind of idea where it might go. So anyhow, on this account, it hit the target here. I locked myself out. Then I got in on this account that I'm copy trading. I'm copy trading uh, this leader account to this follower account. And I locked myself out too. I got in at 500 and I, I've traded... Uh, I wanted, I wanted six hundred dollars. I was thinking it was going to go to uh, six hundred, the price six hundred, but I, I closed out at uh, five sixty. I got sixty points. I think it was what three contracts, sixty points each, six hundred thirty dollars, somewhere around there. This was one I did not hold to the end, which was six hundred was my original target. But when I seen where I was at, I was like, man, let's get it now. Then I got back in on Ninja after I locked myself out on this account. I got back in on Ninja. I said, this thing's going to 700. But as you can see, I didn't hold it to 700. I, I had gotten in at, uh, I think, 620 or something like that. And only 123 of this is from that trade. The other 200, I traded copper last night. Two, uh, really good trade last night. But boy, it just went way beyond where I pulled out. So anyhow... Uh, not uh, today's trades by themselves uh, seven and six is what 11 12 and round up because of the extra change so 1300 1300 would, would just micros today and then I did 200 with with copper last night uh, so it's been a great day uh, something that's changed in my trading style is I get an idea I come up with a a probability, you might say, uh, what the market might do. And I did this yesterday. And I figured the market 
when it come down here, I figured the market was going to reverse down here. And uh, actually, I thought the market was going to reverse here. So I put me a wide stop, and I just put the trade on, and I walked away from my computer. Mm -hmm. Like today, I've been out bike riding. I walked away from my computer. Uh, and I just put it on, and it just worked out real well. I did about $800 yesterday between two accounts. So No, excuse me, about 600 yesterday between two accounts by just walking away. And, and I guess that's the way I'm going to need to trade because if I sit here and look at it, I'm over managing I'm multiple trades where I only need to really trade one trade. If I get the, get the reversal right, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think I put it here and it will come all the way down here. Oh, excuse me, this is HG. Thank you. In Q yesterday. Let me get, get on the 30 minute here. So the NQ yesterday uh, was what? It was here. So I come down here. I thought, let me open this up a little bit. Yeah, right here. So it was, let me find it here. There we go. This one here, that was that print. I got in on that print. I went short. I got in real late. Got stopped out. And then when it went back up, I figured it was going to go on up. Which it did. But I got in here. And I got out up here. And it was good for about 600. But that took, I don't know, two or three hours to get from here to here. And it come all the way down here first. I had a real wide stop. I had my stop literally under my uh, overnight gap line. This is from the prior close. So I had put my stop under here on this candle, somewhere on this candle after it had reversed. Right? Is that right? No, this candle. It's this candle. It was that print. Where is that? Where is that candle? That print. 7:30 print. No, it was. I guess it was this candle. All right. Yeah. So it was on this candle. So I got stopped out and originally went short way too late. Got back in. And wrote it down here and all the way back up here. But I, but because I walked away from my computer and just let the trade marinate, it worked out in my favor for about $600 yesterday. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I can't sit here and watch this screen anymore. I'm way over managing, losing because of it. So I just thought I'd bring you all up to an update. Uh, I'm hoping... I was hoping to be funded by the end of this week, but it looks like it might be next week if things keep going well, if things keep working out. So, well, uh, if you want to support this channel, how about leaving a like, uh, leave a comment, and if you want to go check out Top Step, how about using my affiliate link below? I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.